Hello, if I take a towel and put it directly in front of me in a mirror, I don't disappear. If you're looking at an angle, you can still see me. Why is that the case? Well, lots of people have had this question over the last few weeks on TikTok and Instagram. How can you see what my head is doing on the other side if I've got this up in front of me? And I want to explain why this is the case. So let's talk about the law of reflection. Our intuition, or just, you know, the way we think about the world, it would say that if you're blocking something, that is reflective, you shouldn't be able to see it in the reflective thing. So if I get this nautiloid fossil and uh, put it directly behind the towel, you shouldn't be able to see it, but as you can see clearly, you can see the fossil. You can definitely see it there. Like if I put it there, it's a bit harder to see it, but that's just because of the angle you're at. So let's talk about how the law of reflection means that we can see things in a mirror, even if something is blocking it, or even if it's not directly in front of the mirror. I'm in the shower, there's no mirror here, and yet you can still see me. Light bounces off objects. That's how we can see things. Light hits an object, and then it's sent out in all directions, not just in a single straight line to our eyes or to a mirror. If an object is covered, the light won't get past it in that direction, but if we look at it at an angle, suddenly we can see it because of the law of reflection. The law of reflection states that the angle of reflection is identical to the angle of incidence. Incidence comes from the Latin word fall onto. The light literally falls onto a surface. It's important to note here that the angle of incidence and reflection are measured against the normal angle or a line 90 degrees from the surface, not the surface itself. And because light is sent off an object in all directions, depending on where you are, you'll get a different view. And because mirrors are flat, the light hits it and bounces off in an organized way. That way it still looks like an object and not just a jumbled mess of light. So an object can be seen in a mirror, even if something is blocking part of the mirror, and even if it's not actually directly in front of the mirror, because light bounces off an object in all directions, then because of the law of reflection, it gets bounced off at an angle into our vantage point. I think that's pretty cool. Another cool thing about mirrors and the law of reflection is that an object is always the same size. Doesn't matter how far away from the mirror it is, because of the law of reflection, it's always the same size. Let me prove it to you. I can prove this using a demonstration uh, using my phone as a camera and a whiteboard marker with the mirror. This is a demonstration that I saw on an old Vsauce video. There's a link in the link documents below. I'm gonna jump into your point of view for a moment. I'm going to trace the outline of the phone in the mirror and then we're gonna see what happens when I step right back. I've got it on a stand as well because it's way easier to trace it. Okay, so I'm gonna come in and I'm going to draw a line around just on the outside edge, a little bit wobbly there. Okay, so now that I've traced around it, let's remove the stand and hold the phone up to it. Now, if I were to move the phone closer to the mirror, do you think that the outline will kind of disappear because it's now much smaller than the camera? Well, let's try it. I'm going to move it right up close and, oh, that's interesting. It seems to be exactly the same size. Then I'm going to uh, do the opposite. I'm gonna move back. Do you think it's going to appear smaller than the outline because I'm moving back and that's how perspective works? Well, let's try it. I'm going to shift right back here. And, oh, that's interesting. It fits perfectly within the rectangle. This is because of the law of reflection. The angle of incidence is identical to the angle of reflection which means that things don't get bigger or smaller depending on how far away they are. They're always the same size, which is also counterintuitive, but the law of reflection is somewhat counterintuitive. It means we can do cool things like this, which, that's cool. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know in the comments below. And if you have any other questions that you'd like me to investigate on this channel, please post them as well. I've been not super active this year on this channel, but I'd like to make some more videos. If you'd like to see more videos, please consider subscribing to That's Pretty Cool. I'd like to make videos that inspire me a sense of curiosity and wonder, and these kind of things that are a little counterintuitive, I think are really cool. So I'd really appreciate it if you were to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay curious, and join me next time where I try and follow a river to its source. I'll see you then.